this chat, I, I, this, uh, firstly, it's royalty is here. This was recommended to me. And I don't remember who this was. I don't remember who this was. I, hi, YouTube. Yes, hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Like, they seem so familiar, but I just couldn't remember who this is, so... Yeah, we're gonna watch this. The most controversial VTubers. That sounds like a topic I'm gonna enjoy. So I talk a lot about VTubers, especially yeah. recently. Yes, I yeah. do have a speech impediment in the form of an yes. accent. YouTube, by the way, if I didn't put out the tag of this video yet, I'm sorry. If this video comes out first, I'm... I don't know, I'm behind and setting things up. My bad. Very. I think his accent. I is did cute react to this sweat. video though. And it's actually becoming a hobby of mine, as this is the third installment and third video on the topic of virtual 3D and 2D anime-like characters and we love controlled them. by the facial expressions and body language of an <laughs> IRL person. And they come in many forms, like the corporate yeah. VTubers, ah. indie ah. VTubers. Yep, she has 100% autism. <laughs> Femboy VTubers. Hey, what do you guys actually do when I posted my IRL cake butt booty butt stomp actually on on my Instagram? Tomboy VTubers. <laughs> and many Jesus. more flavors of VTuber. Hero. But despite some of these being cute anime characters, a certain few have a disturbing layer underneath. And we're going to talk about <laughs> some of these VTubers that certainly end the title of some of the most controversial VTubers, either for the misdeeds or general Bow. conduct on their platform. But at the end of the day, it's up to you to generate your own opinion of these VTubers, but do not go out of your way to hate on them, as some of these people do not deserve the attention in general, and you do not need to stoop down to their level. However, True. I've got to give credit where credit is due. I got an email recently. Yes, I'm actually checking my inbox now. No Please way. stop sending me racial slurs. And so waiting <laughs> on that sponsorship email, NordVPN. I know I ignored it like four years ago, but just give me another chance. I'm I'm a grown adult now. L I still eat Cocoa Bops, but I can bench over 100 kilograms now. But anyway, this email was Ayo? actually comprehensible. I know, surprising from some of you. Some of you have a deficiency of chromosomes, I swear. But anyway, the email was to look at a certain degenerate VTuber with a controversial past, but I thought I would include other VTubers that have, have such a past as well. The first one has a laundry list of controversies, especially in their past internet activity, and apparently was involved in a previous video I made about the Femboy VTuber. It seems so familiar. Yes, this face seems so familiar, chat. Who is this person? Activity, ...and apparently was involved in a previous video I made about the femboy VTuber Bungo Tiger, or Tigerholic. And this VTuber's Mariner. name I is Mariner. It. I'm gonna put this Mariner. as nicely as possible. Not every streamer is very yeah. smart. If you haven't heard of Mariner, you probably haven't seen their VTuber's areolas posted all over- That's- okay. That- no, I remember. No, I remember. The naked Twitch controversy, yeah, that I remember. Ah. The internet, as we'll talk about later. But who is Mariner? Starting all the way back in September 2022, and as a so-called Kraken mommy, nothing really stuck out about Mariner. They were your okay. normal borderline NSFW VTuber. Their content very much 18 plus, and they were an okay. indie VTuber, so they could basically do whatever they want. Content-wise, yeah, sure. that is. Their sure. Twitter is filled to the brim with NSFW content. Yes, yeah, this on YouTube, content. so we're fine. And the YouTube shorts is very much the same. Like, I just wanted to watch my fake Reddit stories. I don't need a half-naked female in the Imagine having this toggle. Oh my god, imagine having a toggle like this. Oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, no. I can't. My fever is rising, chat. Oh my god, my COVID is sitting. Oh my god, I fucking can't. stream on platforms can't. such as Twitch. And people's opinion of them was very much indifferent until things started to go downhill and they became shrouded in controversies. The first one being the one I mentioned earlier, which most of you have probably heard about as it was. She probably gonna call us transphobic. Yeah, probably, probably, man. Like, oh, you make uh, you <laughs> you criticize someone for their behavior, but they're trans. You're transphobic all over the internet when it happened. 
as Twitch changed their TOS to allow artistic nudity. She was talking about her? Wait, what? Was she in here? What? Crowded in controversies. What? The first one being the one I mentioned earlier, which most of you have probably heard about as it was all over the internet the when it happened. Nudity, as yeah. Twitch changed their TOS to allow artistic nudity. This involved uh, People were so... I'm gonna say it how it is. People were fucking retarded. People were fucking retarded and didn't read the shit properly. People were so dumb. Like 100% dumb. I read this. I've read this. They dropped this and I read all of it. And I knew instantly. You're not al still not allowed to show that shit. You're still not allowed to show that shit. And people literally took it as, Oh, we're allowed to show hentai now in the background. Like, no. No. You never wear. How about you read? Reading comprehension skills. Zero. Great. Good job, VTubers. You ruined something great for artists. Good job! Well done, VTubers! Well done! I applaud you! I applaud you so much, man! Here, have a round of applause! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Good job! Well, like, they were giving them attention, then they ran a damn trap one. Yeah. Like... And well, okay, just to be fair, it wasn't only VTubers, right? Just to be fair, it wasn't only VTubers, it were a lot of people that also ran with it. Also ruined it themselves fine. I saw plenty of people drawing hentai. Yeah, yeah, that too, that too, that too. Like, yeah. Like, good job, everyone. Good job, everyone, in, in the end. Good job, everyone, man. Uh, in the end, it was everyone. It's so damn stupid. Involved drawing titties and Fucking such idiots. things as erotic dances. I don't know why you would want that on Twitch. <laughs> I thought the hot tub section was enough. But Mariner apparently understood really the TOS. Was. It really was, so bro. Also, I'm just waiting for it, chat. I'm waiting for the breast milk, um, the breastfeeding meta on uh, on Twitch. We already had the breastfeeding meta on YouTube. We already had it and YouTube already shut them down. But it's allowed on Twitch still. It's in the Twitch TOS. It's in Twitch's TOS that it's allowed. I'm waiting for that meta. I'm waiting for the meta to drop. I'm waiting. Very well. As almost as if they were spawn camping the update to the, the TOS. <laughs> Shortly yes. after the update to the TOS, they would show up to their stream essentially showing all the crown jewels. Their VTuber model and a picture on the Ridiculous. right showing their avatar completely naked. Ridiculous. I swear Twitch wants to be reincarnated as Chatterbait. And whilst Mariner was streaming, her chat was telling them they can't do this, and it was very much a bad idea. But they would go on to rebuttal this, bragging about their view account, as there were a lot of people to come see some anime titties. But they also continued by saying, essentially, chat was wrong, and your favourite content creator that are sheep, only following others' opinions, are imbeciles. What a dumbass. And they actually hold their own opinion what a and dumbass. can do their own research. What a dumbass. Because they yeah. are in the right. Do your own research. <laughs> do your own research. I'm gonna put this as nicely as possible. Um, not every streamer is very smart. Yeah. Some are. Some are. Some are geniuses. But I think some people not you. either a don't read the TOS themselves. Yeah, and you they didn't. Just look at other people posting misinformation. Like uh, you. Or they they just don't think things through. It's very <laughs> explicit. This, this age like milk. <laughs> This age, like milk! About the things that you can show, and you can't show. But evidently, they were very much in the wrong. As the only yep. thing within TOS was the 1080p naked picture of themselves on the right hand side. Because Wasn't they did even. not know that VTubers need to follow the Twitch attire guidelines. Just Whoa. like any IRL oh. streamer. They can't go on Wow! Attire guidelines? It literally says... People with a virtual avatar in the TOS? Oh, I can't read. I didn't read that. You gotta read the TOS, bro. Read the TOS. Dream completely naked or showing explicit parts of themselves. So much for the uh, research, I guess. Either A, don't read the TOS themselves. But subsequently, <laughs> they were banned 
albeit just for mm -hmm. one day, which made the entire internet lose their shit. As essentially yeah, for the deed day, they did, ridiculous. they just got a slap on the wrist. Should have ban been banned for like a week, bro. What the fuck? Of a styrofoam brick. As most people thought it should have been longer, as kids could have been watching even though it was put under mature content. However, I kind of understand the only one day ban, as it's not entirely their own fault. But yes, yeah, there is, is a certain level of arrogance and naivety to think you can show a full hog on a platform like Twitch. But Twitch's guidelines were about as coherent and comprehensible as the drawings of cavemen, and are most of the time are very ambiguous. Million dollar company, by the way. They also show a lot of discrepancies when applying their TOS to certain streamers, where some yeah. get banned and some don't. And even some they just don't, for no rule. reason. But I understand like, that Twitch weren't communicating this so well, stupid. so they gave everyone that was not within that TOS a one day ban because it was their fuck up. But some content creators and VTubers actually followed the TOS and still. Got banned. But banned like the for French what VTuber reason? Sari that was drawing NSFWR on stream and was within TOS, but they're French, so. Oh! <laughs> French. <laughs> so French. Like, no. But the supposed <laughs> Kraken Mommy apologised for the incident, but only <laughs> after they lost a primary Hot sponsorship, breed. which was a controversy Good. within itself, but they returned back to streaming after their ban. But. Uh -oh. We have released this individual glitch energy, Lamar. Which was a controversy within itself, but they returned back to streaming after their ban. I mean, Annie got banned for drawing not safe for workout too. No, Annie also just played not safe for workout in the background of uh, first stream. I remember it. And I found it really ridiculous that Annie said, Oh, but I thought this is TOS! I didn't know you couldn't display it. Like, read the TOS, woman. <laughs> like, Read the TOS! Like, it's not that hard. People complaining about things like that is it's just... Uh, bro. Yeah, you didn't read the TOS and you wanted a warning for this? Here's your warning! You got banned for a week or something. Like, you got banned, that's your warning. Good job. I wonder how many misunderstood TOS? People are dumb. I didn't know. Yeah, like, I didn't know. Wow, you didn't know? Well, how about you read? Like... Oh, man. Where more controversies would occur. The next one being, of all things- And, like, also, like, I don't dislike any or anything. Like, I don't want you guys to think, like, I, I think uh, badly of any. I do like any, and I do like her art, and I, like, bro, she drew new arrow, and Nero looks amazing. I, I'm pretty neutral about any. I don't dislike her. I don't overly like her. But that, that was just stupid. This Hogwarts Legacy, the game that launched in a better state than any Fallout game and Battlefield game, but still had a terrible launch. Which to me, to this day, still makes no sense to me. The reason for this terrible launch was because it was a Harry Potter game. JK Rowling created Harry Potter and is known to be transphobic, homophobic and uh... slightly racist. Are we really talking about Harry Potter again? But they still own the intellectual property that is Harry Potter. And even though she had no impact on the creation of this game, just because it was tied to the fictional world of Harry Potter, which she created, many people of the LGBTQ condemned the game and the people that were streaming it and overall just playing it. To the point where people streaming it received harassment as they were supposedly supporting her <sighs> transphobic and. I. I, I... Retarded. And homophobic agenda. Not the random people jumping on a hate mob for clout and attention and wanting to feel special. Those people hating on people give retarded. Give themselves a pat on the back for bullying the, the stupid Harry Potter nerd. But buddy, it's it's not that deep. Just because I like these really paintings wasn't that doesn't deep. mean I like the person that created them. And Literally. let alone support their message. <laughs> Wait! Innings doesn't mean I like the person that created them, Yo. and let alone support their message. But this led to a lot of streamers being harassed and ending their streams early when Close they were gonna play man. the game. So where does Crack and Mommy fit into all of this? Well, they yeah, were accused the of doing the same thing, condemning people that were streaming just oh this game. God. Their first Nowhere. tweet basically saying that trans people are being affected by people streaming. If you're a trans ally and not gonna stream or promote the mediocre wizard game, let us know. 
I think too many trans streamers videos are feeling unsupported and I'd love to know who's with us. Yeah, here yeah. Here you know where someone is doing it for Cloud. This is Cloud. Streaming this game because they're not being supported. The second tweet, presumably, presumably, is a response to a deleted tweet where somebody is complaining they're getting a lot of backlash for streaming this game. And Mariner basically goes on to say, you're not the victim here, buddy. And that just streaming this game promotes a terrible message. I'm confused how you think you're the victim here. Uh, someone who got harassed, by the way. Someone who got harassed. You expressed interest, thus promoted something to you following, and something that harms the trans community and people express their concern or issues, it's copium to think there's nothing wrong with streaming it. Shut the fuck up. Along with a line, it is copium to think Just there's shut nothing the fuck wrong up. with streaming it. Now the past two controversies would be combined together later on to create an absolute feces She's a bit storm cuckoo. Yeah, Marina, very cuckoo. along with one more controversy. And that was their advocation that Tiger, or Bungo Tiger, was a pe in the midst oh of my God. They also the smear campaign. All of the evidence stacked up against Bungo Tiger was cleared with the exoneration of Bungo Tiger document produced by a private investigator, which basically exposed the people that were writing this document who were infatuated with Tiger. As liars. Couldn't get that femboy bussy. So they resorted to smearing their reputation Poor Tiger, with out man. of Tiger literally got deplatformed everywhere. It, it's so bad. It is so fucking bad, and man. Screenshots and overall just false evidence. But I've already talked about this enough in one of my previous videos. I I really need to upload this, man. I do really need to upload this. But Mariner comes into a this to it. where she basically advertised the document deplatforming Tiger. Without doing any of their own research, essentially saying Tiger does not belong in the community, and essentially assisting in pushing the narrative of the smear campaign. What and these tweets of them man. pushing this narrative are still available to this day. And even though it was disproved, they still claim no responsibility for the impact they had on the situation. Even when Tiger called bully. them out directly, and allegedly informing other influential VTubers, such as Nux Taku. To also yeah, discuss these allegations as if they were true. Other than Nux and Marina, but Nux claims to have gotten it from a close confident, confidant. So, like, that's why I think Marina was his, his secret plug who oh. gave him all the, the info oh. on Which made the situation even worse Lovely. for Tiger. And one more less known controversy about Marina is other VTubers coming about their experience with her. Overall, just being a terrible time. Where allegedly, allegedly, they have discords dedicated to bullying people and discord what? screenshots showing that when people separated themselves from their group. You need a spy. I need a spy. Oh, bro. They would send so called spies to keep tabs on them. But once what? again, that is very much word of mouth. Now, all of these accusations come in the limelight when they got sponsored with Glitch Energy. A sponsor which dropped them when their VTuber model got naked on stream. However, yeah. due to this announcement, people were outraged that such a company would partner with someone with so many past allegations. To begin to with, Glitch yeah. Energy hiding many of the replies on the tweet. Replies oh which were criticizing the decision. Which led to Mariner trying to get people from their Discord to post something positive under the tweet. To somewhat overlook- Yikes! How disgusting! How disgusting do you have to be? I need to ask a favor from supporters. My glitch announcement caught the attention of the transphobes. Sure! Sure it was of the transphobes! Oh my god, this is so disgusting! Because people can't just hate you because you're a shitty person, man. Jesus! No, it's not because you're a shitty person, it's because you're trans, clearly. Clearly! My god! There's a lot of trolls who are trying to harass me, glitch, and spread the same old rumors about me harassing people. The classic trans people are harassers thing. You are! You literally are! You literally are doing it now! If I could ask for people to comment some positive, positive things on the thread, I would appreciate it. Please don't engage with the trolls or negativity directly, but just express 
uh, expressing interest or positivity would be helpful for me right now when this group is trying so hard to drag me and my reputation. I really appreciate it. Your reputation is already in the gutters because of your shit of yourself, man. Jesus fucking Christ. All the criticism and labeling most of the people providing this criticism Shut as up! transphobic. Does that mean I'm transphobic now as well? Yeah, now clearly. I so am I. Here. This is Twitter. It's like going to a gas station toilet and expecting there not to be human feces on every centimeter of the wall. Some of these Jesus. responses to that tweet could have generally been fueled by transphobia, but a lot of Sherlock these were nine. just general criticism for this nine. decision and dragging up their past of fuck-ups. Now, Marino would respond to this by posting a lengthy paragraph, responding to each accusation mm -hmm. individually, mm -hmm. okay, with okay. some additional accusations such as doxing Sherlock. and sexualizing being an IRL teacher, which I didn't know was an accusation. But Wait, majority what? of it boils down to she didn't do the harassment towards the Hogwarts legacy Twitch streamers. She wasn't responsible for the reputation decrease towards Tiger because she was simply just expressing her disgust. And a majority of the other sure, accusations are just sure. false. Now it's up to you what you think of Mariner. They haven't had any significant Hilsami. allegations this past year. Despite losing their sponsorship, they seem to be doing just fine. However, my own opinion is I think they should have had more awareness when it came to the Twitch TOS guidelines breaking and not responded with such arrogance. I think they yeah, did have an impact the on the Tigerholic situation due 100%, to the fact yes. they did advertise it and that tweet is still up to this day. And generally assuming that people giving you criticism are only doing this for transphobic purposes. <sighs> I don't think this is true. I think some were generally just giving you criticism. But that is one VTuber down, Imagine. two more to go. Is Whoa! your faith in humanity diminished yet? Because mine was yes. gone when I launched League of Legends for the first time. <laughs> Same. Now the next VTuber we're going to talk about is Nook's Taku. Like I was going to make a video on it. Uh, I was thinking about it and then I was like, dude, if I make a video roasting this dude on my main channel, YouTube will literally deplatform him. Now I talked about Nook's in my previous he video. He already got deplatformed. Good job. Don't worry. Good job, Nux. Good tag. job. Good job, Nux. The defense force. This is just a coincidence. I swear. But I've already talked about their involvement with the Tiger situation, how they advertised that they were a groomer when they in fact weren't, but also advertised it to people like Moist Critical, which put it on a wider scale, fully well knowing they were not informed on the entire details, but still spoke about it as if it was true anyway. Who, I don't know the whole story, but Tiger was added to be a Incorrect. Uh, oh. And doing very little when they were called out for this, despite causing significant damage to Tiger's reputation, even ensuring Awful. Tiger that they would do another video of Moist Awful. Critical, but that video never came. This was in December 22nd, 2022. 2022! He said he was going to make a sequel video with Moist Critical. Video never came. And they seemingly Moist just wanted nuts. to overlook and forget about the whole situation in general. But as I said, I've already spoken about this in my previous video, so just keep it in mind. But who is Nux Taku? Nux Taku Shut is a VTuber that mainly not, posts on YouTube. Not they were initially the... known for their Undertale music. Their anime takes. So unfortunately, me and him share a past. But he later branched out into commentary videos on different topics. And he started uploading to YouTube around eight years ago in 2015. Eight years? But introduced wow. himself as a VTuber in January of 2021. The peak okay. of VTubing. And he's around 28 years old as of 2024. And that's most of the information hmm. people know about Nux Taku. They're an extremely private person. Nobody's seen their face yet, like many VTubers, but they have been on the YouTube platform for a while. And within those eight years, he has not been void of controversies. I wonder if he's gonna speak about <laughs> the recent uh, Twitter uh, posts where Nux is literally going like, Jaden and I are tired. <laughs> Jaden taught me about this and that. Jaden and I are best friends. <laughs> I don't know if he's gonna touch upon one that. One of which being we the talked about that earlier today. To one of the statements he advertises almost constantly <laughs> is that if you like lollies, you are a IRL. Lollies being children in anime. However, he would quickly get called out on the fact that in his thumbnails, he has lollies. Very hypocritical. Hypocritical. I don't know how to speak. Whichever the one that is, but yeah, that's a that's a bit that's a pretty yikes, bro. That's pretty yikes. Even as VTuber friends that are lollies, and when he 
Bro, bro, ah, uh, uh, can we, can we finally differentiate between just being a lolly and sexualizing lollies? Can we differentiate between those two? There's a huge difference in between being a lolly and sexualizing lollies. Sexualizing lollies is bad. Being a lolly? Okay, lollies are cute. Lollies are cute. But don't fucking loot the lollies! Like, holy shit, people are dumb! was criticized for this, he doubled down, making a video about one of his accusers, Rev Says Desu, which the thumbnail just tells you the summary of the whole video. Oh my god. I like this. Nah. -uh. Whilst doing so, realizing he's a hypocrite, would start combing through their own thumbnails, removing all references of lollies. Relatively with no excuse for doing so. And quite recently with the Ava Tyson expose, where they were in contact with a minor and contacting another content creator called Shadman, who draws pictures of those underage. Okay, how's Nox Especially linked Keemstar's to this? Let's daughter. see. It was said that yeah, Nox that also disgusting. has a line of communication with them. Wanna call that? Yikes. Yikes. Ugh. Despite their opinion of lollies. However, that is all alleged, and it is still in its infancy, so I'm not really going to talk about that in regards to their hypocrisy, and my own opinion is I don't think they really had that much of communication with Shedman, and I don't think overall they should have any involvement with that situation. Royalty from the future here, editing this I... at midnight and listening to Charles I... Gambino, Lithonia, it was just released that Nux had just left the Some Ordinary Gamers podcast, but had nothing to do with the Shadman allegation that Nux had... Okay. Wait, you guys can read the title here. Nox Taku kicked from some ordinary podcast. Absolutely not because of Shatman relationship. Okay. Just left the Some Ordinary Gamers podcast. Okay. Had nothing to do with the Shadman allegations, supposedly. It was just a coincidence. Do with that what you will. But yeah, I'm going to go back to wasting my life now. Uh, enjoy the video, I guess. But regardless, Nox has a bit of an ego. Like with the Rev situation, he, does, he said if he actually made a video responding to Rev's claims because YouTube has been watching his podcast with some ordinary gamers, he essentially says if he reacted to it and made a video on it, YouTube would take notice and take action against Rev. Like YouTube is just setting up his tent, waiting yeah, for his sure. every honor. If sure, I make a buddy. video sure. roasting this dude on my main channel, Oh my god, he's so full of himself, man. Channel, YouTube will literally deplatform him. Especially ever since I've been on the, the Some Ordinary podcast, YouTube has really been paying attention to, like, what we've been saying. He also goes on to criticize he... Rev's view count, implying that him doing a video on Nux has given him significant views than it normally would. Despite in current times, Rev is performing a lot better than Nux. And his previous statement doesn't make much sense either way where he essentially said YouTube would take actions against Rev because Nux would have been involved. But in the same year, would make a video basically saying that YouTube had shadow banned them. Because it makes no sense, and my channel is clearly shadow banned. <laughs> Admittedly, without... <laughs> How do you... How do you go from, yeah, if I make a video, I'm gonna get a platform to YouTube shadow banned me. <laughs> Concrete evidence, and then would go on to make a few more videos with dramatic titles and dramatic Goodbye! thumbnails. Goodbye! The end! Enough! <laughs> because it was somewhat working and his view account wasn't plateauing anymore, but some people did stop watching Nux, simply because he changed since when he initially started. Some people say he's very loud and obnoxious now, uses other content creators as crutches, and his thumbnails being somewhat provocative. So there may be another reason why people just stopped watching him. But he is in yeah. no way a dead YouTuber. But other controversies no. where people generated a negative opinion of him was the V Shoujo drama, where basically we everyone turned recently. against him like he was Julius Caesar, even though he Both parties were wrong here, man. Like, both parties did wrong things. He had their best intentions at heart, but in the midst of it, he would get cancelled and thrown away like a filled contraceptive. And it was very much a pylon of Nux Taku. 
It's you better not click by the goodbye video, I swear to God. At one point, I'm gonna. At one point, I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, you know I have to. I'm a YouTuber now. It, it's on the rules. Every YouTuber needs to do it at one point. Because all he wanted to do was expose some impersonators of Vishoja, a VTuber agency he was associated with because they were sending out phishing emails basically saying they were Vishojo to gather the information of all these VTubers <laughs> to dox or oh, swap them. And he made a video about this and a public statement, even getting the go-to head from the cybersecurity team at Vishojo, and even getting a pat on the back because he was essentially doing a public service. But Vishojo members would have a very negative opinion on this act advocating he should take down the video and should have informed them, and that he was using this event for a <laughs> clout and clickbait. Well, yeah, we we watched this entire situation recently. We watched a remaster video on it, I think. I think I uploaded it as well. And uh, yeah, both parties were wrong. The girls were just not informed about what uh, management was doing, and Max stood jumped the gun, the girls jumped the gun, everyone was just wrong in this entire situation, man. Everyone was just wrong, especially, like, especially we Jojo who didn't, like, tell people that this shit was happening. People literally got swatted because of this, man. Now, v Jojo like, themselves condemned his actions. Really bad. Even though previously they endorsed it, even telling him to link their official statement Yo, that, that they knew boy. about the doxing situation the whole time, but did nothing about it, and even one of the V Shoujo girls knew about this video and had no quarrels Supposedly, with him posting. allegedly, But then when melody. he posted the video, immediately went to condemn his actions and speak from a point of view like they didn't know it was going to happen. Now with the V Shoujo talent against him and V Shoujo itself, and the public's general opinion Mo against him, Mox Docs people know. He'd post all the receipts, clearing his name. Now with some of the V Shoujo talent that dropped him in it, did get away with it, and still to this day, people still hold a negative opinion of Nux because of this. However, yeah. looking at Nux in general, I wouldn't say they deserve all the negative attention they get. They do deserve the criticism for their hypocrisy and spreading of misinformation show, yeah. without being entirely informed. But a majority of the reason people do hold a negative opinion is because of his content, thumbnails, his change in personality, and association with other content. Oh, softball humbled the U.S. elections. <laughs> okay. Creators. I think if Nux owned up to his mistakes in the past instead of quietly hiding them and hoping they go away, the only problem people would have with him is his character. And personally, yeah. I am hoping the stuff with Shadman that oh, doesn't luxurious. turn out to okay, be man. true. Because that would be another point of hypocrisy. And he most certainly would be lined up for the guillotine. Now, the final VTuber we're going to talk about was the main reason for the email sent to me. And the sender oh, of the email okay. had just cause. Because said person is undoubtedly the king of staring the pot and then playing <laughs> the victim. Sorry. They lay a liquid okay. log on other people and then proceed to act like Keemstar, wondering why they get so much <laughs> what? hate. Why am I still getting hate? After doing such <gasps> things as doxing, <laughs> harassing and just generally being the what? bottom of the barrel of the internet. And barely anyone what? knows who they are and what yeah, they've done. Like, but this who? VTuber's name is Falter XV. I'm gonna I annoy them! Because okay. he's right on me! Now, there's not a lot of information out about Falter XV. They're not that big of a VTuber. And not many people have covered their okay. misdeeds. And the fact they have been accused of making another VTuber take their own life but what? it can only be assumed that a vtuber took their own life because they're no longer active on their account and haven't been in touch with close friends but follower xv is considered to be in their early 30s they're a femboy vtuber who streams games like destiny on twitch but going okay. over to their twitter you can find quite literally a schizophrenic's journal of their meltdown they accuse Jesus Christ. Welcome back, kids. Are you feeling better? I still got COVID. I'm still sick, but I am a bit better. I'm a bit better. As you can hear my voice, probably my voice isn't fully there yet. <laughs> and I'm still having a cough. Uh, chest feels uh, still a bit heavy, but I'm better. I'm random better. streamers of random things, often with little or no evidence, and they assume these streamers are out to get them. Like, buddy, 
you are quite literally creating the problem. You're literally and most a no one. Who are you? To their tweets. Oh so my they're, god. they're basically in an echo chamber with no one to snap them out of it. And just what a heads up, fuck? if you're in a controversy or you make an accusation towards somebody and you're presumably the victim or the innocent one, never lock your comments Boom. or your Twitter replies. It makes yep. it look like you're the bad person yep. by controlling the narrative and not allowing anyone else to comment on said narrative. They also have a history of abusing YouTube's copyright system to the point where YouTube removed the feature from their channel to do this because they did it so f No way. YouTube took away? frequently and obviously with misinformation and they would go on to say it wasn't them doing this is someone creating fake accounts and doing it within their name but some of these accounts were older than his account before they were a content creator and Ooh. even shared the same name with him sometimes but the alleged fake accounts don't end there as they complain on their twitter they're constantly being harassed by other content creators creating fake accounts with their name just to harass them but there is no concrete evidence there are other creators doing this. It's probably themselves, man. I've seen people on Twitter actually create drama with themselves that way. Small Lola did that. Just saying. So, yeah! They just pin the blame on rot. these creators, and with how frequent he tweets about this, in my opinion, I'm starting to think he's creating the accounts. There also, one of these accounts goes on to say... They physically assaulted him, and they're admitting this out of guilt, stabbing huh. him at their home. But, but, what the fuck? And links all the people that have been calling them out and their bullshit as co-conspirators. And obviously the replies <laughs> on most of these tweets are once again locked. But this is just of course. genuinely insanity. They have been alleged to scam people. Donating to streamers and then refunding the donation. Yeah, one streamer was going to use that money to buy RAM, but when they bought it, they refunded the donation. Disgusting human trash. Just fucking trash. Imagine. Oh my God. Calm down, Keitsu, you still got corona. Don't get your fever. Don't get the fever spiking. So they were out about $97 with the reasoning being to PayPal that they didn't receive the goods they sent the money for them to buy. And this was a birthday present, Yikes. by the way. They've also been accused Yikes. of doxing, putting someone's last name as their Twitch stream title. But I catch the evidence of this because it's somebody's name. Now, on to the more serious what allegation, the fuck? which was the unfortunate apparent ending of someone's life. Cherry Swator would make a tweet back in October of 2023, hinting towards their own demise because of the alleged harassment by Faultler XV. They haven't been heard from since, and admittedly there is no solid evidence they have done the act they describe. And Faultler likes to advocate they didn't actually end themselves, and they are very much still alive. However, the harassment Cherry had to face from Faultler involved them saying Cherry had doxxed them, which he does to other content creators. He accuses them all of doxing him with seemingly no evidence. This is the evidence he provided. And then accusing them of... No evidence. This is the... I mean, the fact you're literally threatening me with a dox or threatening to post that says it all needs to with using an alt like that keeps stock on my posts. Art flip. She, her. So you would have rather I aired your cell phone number instead of keeping in private. Why? I wouldn't do such a thing. But great. Right. Right. Evidence right. he provided. Right. And then accusing them of sexualizing them when another account posted this meme. And he accused that account of being a fake account made by them, but then goes on to tweet things like this, a screenshot of them explaining the struggles they're going through, and then criticizing them, saying they have no friends or family, and then okay. emphasizing that in following tweets talking about- Isn't that a stoffel that 
it look like a Stolfo? Yeah, no. I guess not, I guess it just looks similar. And they have no friends or family. And then emphasising that in following tweets talking about her. Now there are a lot of other accusations I can't fit into this video about Falter. There is an entire 96 page document on their misdeeds. 96! Them the benefit of the doubt. They may be getting harassed by other content creators in some far away universe, but it just does not add up with the lack of evidence they provide and how they can assume certain creators are doing this with a lack of evidence themselves. And the accusations against Falta are backed up, unlike their claims. But okay. the one thing I can say about this is I hope that Cherry is still alive and has taken a step back from the internet. But if you want more information I can't fit into this video without doing a separate video on the topic, check out Maka Ray's and AJ News's video on it. And thank you to the person for that email, even wow. though I technically cooked you here, not talking about all the other controversies they've been through. But in conclusion, VTubers are liable to the same <laughs> controversies your content creators actually use their own face yeah, of course. and personality. Are liable of course. To. Look at it. It's SpongeBob. So the next time you look at these sweet supplement girls or femboys, depending on your preference, they may have committed many war crimes in their past. Just because no. they're an anime girl doesn't mean they can't do it no. and get away I with it. Such but yeah, a thing. bye bye. Oh no! no. <laughs> Controversies? What? What war crimes? <laughs>